Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Uh, we are going to get Arthur Morgan to Australia right here on Hunter Call of the Wild. Yes, we are. We uh, just finished the most exciting and enjoyable, from a player's point of view, uh, mission um, over there on uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my gosh, we got shipwrecked and we're marooned on a small island just off of Cuba. And that, oh, what a tremendous, tremendous experience it was playing that. Tremendous. And uh, we lost Hosea. We lost Lenny. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, but uh, uh, Dutch is always talking about, you know, uh, moving moving the gang away from the United States and getting to Australia or, or Tahiti. And uh, I don't know if, if, if we get there from, from where we're at. Please, no spoilers uh, in, in the comments. My, my sons will delete them. Uh, we want to keep the Red Dead Redemption a true blind playthrough. So uh, no spoilers. I don't, know, I don't know if we get to uh, Australia or Tahiti from where we're at. Um, possibly. I hope so. Anyway, whether we do or not, we're taking Arthur there right now. Uh, on Hunter Call of the Wild with my challenge that I put on myself uh, to get a great one uh, before level 60 using only Arthur Morgan uh, guns, things that Arthur Morgan would use. So no modern uh, weapons, nothing with magazines, uh, uh, semi-autos, none of that. First thing I need to do though is switch my um, profile to uh, Tersh and Loki because um, if I reset um, my Hunter Call of the Wild um, um, uh, uh, on the Mojave Deep uh, profile, I lose it all. I lose all my progress, and I'm working on something there. I've got a series going on there, um, and I don't want to lose all that progress. So um, by going to a different profile, um, I was able to start at level zero without losing anything on the Mojave Deep profile. So let us, without further ado, uh, get my big head out of here, and uh, we shall... Boogie on over to Hunter Call of the Wild. And uh, we showcased um, Leighton Lakes, the opening uh, cutscenes uh, for getting to Leighton Lakes we, and Cuatro Colinas, which is my favorite map in this game. And um, But Arthur is going to play primarily in Mexico because that fits in with the Vaqueros and the Cowboys. Uh, and it's my stomping grounds in real life. Uh, that biome is not Mexico. Anyway, I've talked about that before, so we're going to play as Tersh and Loki. I don't know where I left Arthur, but we did showcase three um, openings of, um, uh, of three different um, uh, parts of the world, um, and, we're, and I'm going to do that in each video. This one, obviously, is going to showcase none other than, this is Quattro Colinas right there, that's where I left him, uh, Australia. But first, I want to go in and see and check the time. Because we want to get, I want to get to uh, the new reserve in the morning, I think. So, um, it is, oh, it's perfect. But this is our loadout. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a muzzle loader 50 cal. He has a 22. Uh, he has an 1891 um, 10 gauge shotgun. And he has these two pistols. Now, this does, this pistol shoots uh, 243 rounds. So, it will get integrity on everything from two to six. And this is our self-defense weapon, which is a uh, Colt 45, um, Arthur's Arthur type weapon. We don't have a weapon that will give us integrity on Class 9 animals. As you can see, the uh, muzzle loader will go up to 8. And I know there's, there's Class 9 animals on this map. Um, but, oh, and here's, here's, um, here's our outpost here in, uh, in Cuatro Colinas where you can reset the clock and rest and get and uh, restock your supplies. But first, uh, so now what we'll do since the time is good, it's, it's a good time to go, we will exit out to the main menu and we will go to Australia. And this, this map came out last summer. Um, there's Hirschfelden in Germany, there's Leighton Lakes. Uh, we, will, we will showcase uh, Hirschfelden too. Um, maybe not on this video. Uh, Leighton Lakes, we showcase. This is Russia. Uh, this is Africa. The Verhunga the and Savannah. This is Parque Fernando, which is, I believe, Argentina. 
Uh, great, great map. Uh, love it there. The Yukon Valley in Alaska, Cuatro Colinas we featured in the last one. We will show Silver Ridge Peaks. This is in um, another one of my favorite maps. It's, this is, what well, they all are. I love them all. This one is in um, Colorado. Tijuana is in New Zealand. Maybe we'll do uh, New Zealand right after this because we are going to Australia. Australia. Rancho uh, del Arroyo is where we will primarily keep Arthur, but I do want to showcase this. There's Mississippi, Revantuli Coast. Oh, man, this is um, um, the, uh, another great map. New England, uh, the Emerald Coast. This is... Australia and this is where we're going and this this they they uh, made this available last summer I think it was about eight months ago uh, I don't know I can't remember and I visited visited it briefly because I was into doing something else on another map so I don't have much experience on this map uh, let's head to Australia and let's get the opening cutscene uh, listen up and let's hear the story Hot air balloon. Is this Australia? Yes. G'day, mate. G'day. How are you going? Welcome to our beautiful Emerald Coast. Thank you. Out here in the bush, both the fauna and the flora are unique and fascinating to observe. I can't wait. Oh. I'm Robert, by the way. Hi, Robert. Just call him Robbo. Why do you sound like a tourist guide, Robbo? Robbo. Ro Ro I'm Sophia. Robbo. Sure, this Hi, region is imbued, but it's also bloody fragile. Too true. That's why we're stoked you're here to work with us. But there's no rule that says you can't have fun at work, eh? You game? I'm game. Yes, I am, honey. I'm game. Don't shoot me. Don't eat me. So they should give us a mission right off Where the bat. Where did the Ute drop you off exactly? Anyway, you're not far from my station. Why don't you climb the fire lookout tower that's close by and see for yourself? From there, you'll see clearly where things are. Uh, this is Nosy, my bloodhound. Where's Nosy? Get over here, Nosy. Say hi to it the may people. may not look like it, but you're on private land. This belongs to Soph and her husband. We run a station, uh, I'm in a farm, and Robbo's own land is north of here. Robbo. Australia's a massive country, as you know. So it's not uncommon for folks to own huge properties that sprawl over kilometres across several biomes even that's why we need to hire professional hunters like yourself i reckon you won't get bored so um for new people um new one of the reasons i'm doing this besides the arthur morgan uh challenge that i'm putting on myself is uh to introduce the game to people who haven't played it before so i will be doing um some instructional stuff um we have a mission log right here and visit the fire outlook tower there's sophia and you can read her welcome right here so i i'm reading the last line i'm with a hunting group at the moment so i can't meet you there in person but no worries you and i will catch up soon in the meantime make yourself at home now they give you these missions and for new people i highly recommend um Run the missions. Run the missions. They will uh, develop your map efficiently. Uh, they will lead you to game. They will lead you to need zones like where they drink, where they rest, where they eat. Uh, the missions will, will help you if you're brand new. Don't just think, well, gosh, I've got my rifles and I'm going to run out and, and start hunting. Uh, you'll, you'll be frustrated. So just a tip off the bat. Uh, for new folks, uh, run the missions when you first start. It will develop your map efficiently, and it will, and they will lead you to hunting opportunities. Now you can see I only played for a couple of hours, 
uh, on the first of this series, and I already have seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-three dollars. Uh, I'm level four um, in just a couple of hours, and what I did was run the missions. So that's a just a brief note on that. So let's go up here, and the other part of doing that for new people is you get paid for running the missions. So right off the bat, just by running a mission here, we get a Eastern Gray, what did what, that say? Rabbit? I wasn't reading. I need to uh, pause this and go get my eyeballs on. What do we have here? We have a Red Fox. It's a Class 2, which means I've got to use a 243 pistol if we're going to hunt this thing. And I don't think I have a collar. Well, I do have a collar for it. Let's see if we can get that fox to come into us. And you see your noise. That's a speaker underneath the collar icon there. You don't want more than two bars. And, and really, two bars is too much if you're trying to stalk something. And, and I called too many times as well. I shouldn't have called that many times. Uh, wrong weapon. We'll have to use this weapon in order to get integrity we'll have to use the pistol it's a single shot break action nosy you don't run it in front of the gun nosy yeah, i'm gonna have nosy lay down lay down girl look at the wind blowing and we've got some more tracks here what are these for i've never seen tracks like that Eastern Gray Kangaroo. I've never seen a kangaroo in real life. I can't wait to see one. Like I said, I was only on this map briefly, and it was eight months ago, so I, I, I have not much uh, recollection of it. There he is. I need him to turn. Let's see if we can call him back. <laughs> not that. Just like with Red Dead, I hit the wrong button. Looks like he turned. I can get this shot. Problem is, we're doing this with pistol. And we are low level, so we don't have any skills or perks. Our, see the heart rate? The heart is... Oh, you can't see the heart. My head's blocking it. I'm going to lay him all the way down. When the heart rate is thumping like that, you cannot hold on target. And as it is, we have a hard time holding on target, even with, with his heart being perfectly calm. Uh, because... We are only level four, and we don't have muscle. I think we do have muscle. I think I have a point in muscle memory, but we don't have breath control. We don't have soft feet. We don't have recoil management, but we'll get those things. All right. If I pop up, it might spook him. There he is. No, that's a, something else. What is this? I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what I'm looking at. But it's real. Oh, there's the fox. That's what I wanted. And he's running. Well, I was able to get one into... What is that? Some kind of sheep? I was talking and, and monkeying around too much. To, uh, it's a female. We can see that by the pink. And we did get a vital organ hit. You can see uh, by the splotch. That is a, a big splotch of blood like that for new people. That is a vital organ hit. I don't think we need Nosy to track it. It should be right here. It is. It's real close. So our first kill. Arthur's first kill in Australia. And I don't even know what it is. This is a feral goat. Female. Pays $900. Um... 58 is her rating. Uh, diamond is 208. Long ways from that. It's just a little one. And we got a great shot in there from 22, well, 23 yards. And here we go. Look at that. They did a great job on that. Look at that. So this will, so there, we just picked up 900 bucks. This is another zone over here that we can pick up for him. This looks, I, that looked like a kangaroo track. It is. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get a kangaroo, man. 
I've never even seen one in real life, so this is exciting for me. Okay, more feral, was a feral goat? Yes. And, let's see what else is around here. So we pick up $900 on our way to this tower, and they should pay us another 1000 when we do that. Now, that fox will be long gone. I really wanted the fox. Um, the fox was a male, level 7. That would have paid probably $1,500. And it's a much, and it would have been a trophy animal. I, that could have been gold. And I messed that up because I was talking. So, welcome to Australia, huh? Absolutely beautiful. Well, let's get this. I, I don't think, I think we, oh, is that, a, is that water? Great. Um, always better to hunt around water. If you can get their drink times, um, it's just easier because there's not a lot of uh, cover for them. So let's get this tower. We'll get the first mission done. Look at that. Am I seeing a hot air balloon? I saw a hot air balloon. Where is it? I saw a hot air balloon up there, didn't I? Yeah. Look. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get up here. And if I'm not running, now when you you run, you're just going to scare everything. Don't run. Um, you can run, but be aware they can hear you from 250 yards away. Again, a lot of what I'm saying is for new people. I mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're familiar with the game, you, you don't. Oh, look at that. That one is a three. That's a male. How far away is that? Now, we don't have range finders yet, but it's a little trick you can do. You can just move your cursor down there and find out that it's 215 yards. Now, level three, I don't think, yeah, this won't work. We got we to gotta stay with this pistol from 200 yards. What do you think? I am a little bit high. It might drop in. Ah, my heart rate. You, see, you can't see the heart. The heart is bright red. I'm going to have my son come over here and move my head um, over to the left-hand corner so you guys can see everything. I want that uh, level three if I can find him. That's him, but he's turned his butt to us. And we don't have a collar for these. There's a little trick you can do, though. I'm going to take the 22. And I'm going to plink it in there close to him just to get him to, to turn. Hopefully not spook him away. Let's see if that made him makes him turn. I didn't get it close enough. I needed to uh, raise it up. Oh, wow. This one looks bigger. This one is even bigger. Oh, let's see. Now, we could try to get up there closer. holes my heart is bright red it's just pounding and bright red um the thing is they're barely over 200 yards uh they will hear me at this level because i don't have soft feet um and I, I mean if i could get to these trees over here without spooking them that would be great i just don't know that i can that's the big boy we want right there Let's see, I'm going to have to make this really quick. We're going to have to aim a little bit high, and then he's gone. Yeah, we can't. Might be able to drop it in on that one. We'll have to aim high and count on a bullet drop. The problem is these are 243 rounds, and they don't get much penetration. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I believe I hit it. We'll look at the map and see if there's honey. We did. We nailed it. 
We nailed it. Oh my gosh, from 220 yards, we nailed it. See the hunting pressure? That's the that, that purplish uh, splotch. That is hunting pressure. Oh my gosh, we made an incredible shot, y'all. I will get this tower in just a second. I'll, I'll run back over here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Heck of a shot, Arthur. So like I said, running the missions is going to lead you to game. It's going to lead you to these things right here. Uh, need zones. Right here. Right here. A kangaroo from 0300 to 0600. So nighttime, there's kangaroos here. And I am dying to see one. Oh, looky here. Looky here. That's a female. That You'd see the pink right there by its head? That's telling us that. Now, as we level up and we get more perks uh, and skills, uh, we'll get more information uh, from our um, sighting them, you know, uh, with the binoculars and uh, with our scopes even. And when we uh, when we click on their track, uh, their tracks, we'll get more information like their weight, um, that kind of thing. And you can decide whether or not you want to track something depending on its weight and its, you know, possible trophy rating, that kind of stuff. But that's later. We're only level four. Uh, let's let Nosy, let's put Nosy on the job here. Go to work, Nosy. Find that blood. Now, she's low level, so she's going to be, what was that? Sound like a fox. It sounded like a dog. It is a fox, and it's a male. And Nosy just leveled up. She levels up by being with you. And, of course, we just put her to work and by working. Um, she's on the trail. Um, that's a 243 with soft points, so it's not going to get much penetration. Oh, I want this. I want this fox. Let me get down. Let's call to it. I'm coming, Nosy. Nosy's got, you see it right over there? It's highlighted. Nosy's found the carcass, so we can uh, we can harvest. I need to get up over that little knoll right there. That little rise in the ground right there is blocking our view of the fox. If it responds to the call, that's a stressed uh, jackrabbit call. Caller, um, it should draw. If he comes up over this knoll. This little berm will have a shot. I just don't know if he will. He's not making any noise, so I got a feeling he's already taken off. Let's go over here and see what we did, because let me tell you what, man. That was a from over 200 yards with that ancient pistol. That's pretty darn good. All right, so here's our feral goat. Silver. That was from 229 yards. Look at that, and it dropped right in there. A little lower than I thought. Uh, almost $1,200 for this. We get 223, uh, 221 experience points. Um, diamond on these things. Let's let's see the trophy re ratings. He's a 131. Gold would be 157. I heard kangaroos. I'm just running to the tower. So look at him. Look at him. Yeah. See, I've never seen one in real life, man. So this is exciting. Oh, there we go. That's a female. She's a two. I believe they go all the way up to a nine. And that would be a, a legendary kangaroo. So they must have a rest zone over here, huh? Because we... The zone that we did pick up for the kangaroos was what? Uh, in the morning. 0300 to 0600. And it is getting on to 9 o'clock. So they're probably headed for that river as well. I still haven't gotten to the tower. I'm just going to run up on them. 
I, I don't care if I spook them right now. I'm not prioritizing honey. I'm just discovering. Look, 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 look. How cool, how cool. Look. <laughs> Are you seeing it? So she's going to join the rest of them somewhere down there. Uh, once again, they're, prob they're probably headed for water. All right. Uh, uh. What do you think, Arthur? You ever see a kangaroo before? So we got Arthur in Australia, y'all, uh, ahead of Dutch. There's the kangaroo tracks. Again, oh, this is tracks for a male. Um... Well, I'm sure we scared everything away around here because I'm romping and stomping. I'm just, you know, running around like a like a rookie. Uh, but that's okay. I'm not prioritizing hunting. I just want to showcase the uh, the reserve. We will spend some time here, though. I I, I was gonna go. I wanted him to spend wanted him to spend most of his time in Mexico because it fits in with the Red Dead um, theme. But uh, uh, we're gonna spend some time here too, man. Australia, because that's also with the Red Dead theme, since that's where uh, Dutch wants to go. Well, he wants to go to Australia or Tahiti. Dutch is a dreamer, right? Big, big dreams. Small brain, big dreams. So, how are you holding up at the fire lookout tower? Quite the workout, eh? <laughs> Good on you. You almost made it. Once you're up there, take a moment to breathe and enjoy the view. Yeah, that's that's a lot of stairs, man. Okay, so we need to come in here, claim this, and this is going to reveal, for the new people, this will reveal uh, a big area of the map. Uh, hopefully, it will reveal some outpost locations for us that you can use to uh, fast travel with and uh, reset the clock with. Uh, you know, to take advantage of drink times and to resupply yourself. The Outback. That's one of the first things they think about overseas when they hear Australia. It's arid and it can be tough out here, especially after the bushfires in the last few years. But it's also a surprisingly rich ecosystem, home to heaps of unique and sometimes bizarre species. So it did reveal two outposts. Did you spot my station from up there? Then please, come and get settled in. Sorry I can't be there to greet you in person today. I'm out on a hunt too. Yeah, uh, so I marked the right one um, <laughs> um, conveniently. Um, it's about 800 yards that way. That's where she wants us to go next. We did not get paid for that because we have to visit the outpost and then they'll pay us another thousand dollars. Sometimes you get paid right when you open the, um, the tower, if it's in a mission. Look at this though. Wow. What is that mountain range called in Australia? Um, ah. Uh, I know what it is. I just can't think of it. Um, I mean, it's only world famous. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is there to say about us? Well, Robbo and I are neighbors. Neighbors? How about best mates? <laughs> Technically, neighbors. we're also neighbors, Robbo. But yeah, we both grew up here. Our folks owned the two stations. In other words... We became mates because there wasn't anyone else around. <laughs> you even lived in Brisbane for a few years after uni to try to get rid of me, but even that wasn't enough. Too right. We tried everything. A long-distance friendship, crazy jobs, stupid boyfriends. And jealous girlfriends. As a last resort, we each got married. Nothing worked. Except one thing. Having a kiddo. That worked wonders. Anyway, let us know when you're over at Soph Station. 
<laughs> They're quite a pair. It's also uh, uh, running the missions adds an, another uh, dimension to the game, doesn't it? Now, I never did get my break because I saw those kangaroos and got all excited. So, and I do need to find my glasses and get them put on uh, so I can see <laughs> see better up close. Um, so, I'm going to stop recording real quick and, and um, I won't pick up recording again unless something happens on the way to the... Uh, outpost but i'm gonna take a quick break i'll be right back at you yes i will all right i had a couple of hunting opportunities on the way here uh but um i, I didn't take any shots at them they were because i'm too noisy and i and i scared them you know i'm just too noisy uh right now once we get soft feet and some other perks i that's gonna improve but look look at this Arthur Arthur boy you need to rent one of these on a long-term basis rent yourself a cabin over here you got plenty of game or just buy it man just buy some land over here you've got water beautiful absolutely amazing map look at so far I mean I, I'm just just amazed i i really am they do such a good job on this game just like the red dead people do but apparently we're gonna have one of these cabins look at this look at the vehicles <laughs> this one this one's been around a while we've got an animal sound over oh what's this a quail all right. I'm discovering this with you guys. I mean, like I say, I was here eight months ago, but just briefly, because I had to get back to um, what I was doing on, on other maps. So I have not opened this map up completely. And I don't remember. Look at this. Look at this. Look. <laughs> oh, you got to love this, man. Oh, look at the little kangaroo with the boxing gloves. Oh, maybe we can get into a boxing match with one, huh? That would be fun. Look at this, though. Huh? All right, let's see which one of these cabins is ours. I don't know which one. It'll tell us. Welcome to my station. It's quiet at the moment, but it can get a little too busy around here sometimes. I should I get the thousand dollar notification for our community. We even have board game nights sometimes. Anyway, your cabin's ready. I've prepared everything for you. <laughs> oh, I just love it, man. So, which one is ours? Uh, this one? Oh, we got a little screen door as well. And there's where we can reset the clock. Now we should get paid. Like it. It's a bit basic, but it does the job. Feel free to use it during your stay. It's our pleasure, really. Eric and I opened these a couple of years ago to make an extra buck. They've been a lifesaver. Take your time, make yourself at home, grab a couple from the bar. We don't make a fuss out here in the sticks. And here, and we leveled up. We made $2,500 for running that mission. $2,500. We got here with 78. We now have 12,400. Now the next- If you're ready, we can get started. Wait, would you mind grabbing something before you head out? It's a book Robbo lent me ages ago. A book? Which one? The one on imposter syndrome or the one on kangaroos? Uh, the kangaroo one, yeah. I left it in the bar. You can't miss it, mate. So we can pick which mission. Well, this is a story mission and a side mission. We can stay with this. Uh, now that you know where you can sleep, let's introduce you to the main mission here, population management. In Australia, it's pretty common for landowners such as Sophie and I, uh, and me, to 
coordinate with the state authorities to hire professional hunters to help control populations of various species. We're lucky to own a rather sizable lands, yeah, but that also means it's our responsibility to care for these lands. Let's start with kangaroos. Yes, let's. They may be native species, a native species, but they easily become overabundant and cause overgrazing, which in turn threatens other fauna and flora. Uh, Soph mentioned something about a book on kangaroos, and she borrowed that she borrowed from me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so she wants us to pick up a book somewhere. Anyway, we'll select that one. Let's close the screen door. And it should give us a marker. It does. It gives us a marker over here. I think this will be picking up the book. They pay well. 2500 bucks. I was expecting 1000 Oh, really? <laughs> right, that's the book. Great job. You're the best. I'm flat out right now, so I reckon you'll visit Robbo's shelter before I do. You have no idea how stoked Robbo will be when he gets it. Your first task has to do with kangaroos. There are areas that are badly overgrazed because of them. There's one east of my station, so why don't you start heading there? We'll bring you up to speed on the way. All right, and Nosy has leveled up. Let's see what level Nosy is at. Um, 14. So we can't do anything until it goes up one more time to 50. Ah, but 10. I, I neglected level 10. You want to put, for new people, you want to put um, your... Um, Level ups on the bottom row for, for the first three for sure. Uh, this now increases the distance at which your dog can find a blood clue. And in this one, your dog is better at picking up scent from smaller blood clues. All three of those will serve you better than anything on the top row all the way to level 15. Now, once we get to level 20, uh, I will go up here and pick this one. Your dog is Since not... I reckon you're not familiar with Ruse yet, here's a bit of context. Later, we know you can do your own thing. We have the eastern grey kangaroos around here. You'll find them in the outback, of course, but also in grassy bushlands. They're a very important species in Australia, but they don't have a lot of natural predators. <laughs> so they can easily be in overabundance and cause overgrazing. They can make life heaps harder for other animals and throw the whole ecosystem out of whack. Not to mention the economic impact on our stations. Can't say it's been too brilliant in the last couple of years. So this is how much of the map we've opened up so far. They want us to go over here. Um, and... Go to, we just need to go to the overgrazed area. It's a mile away. Now, we can use the ATV. Uh, however, if we do, we will scare every animal. You will spook everything within 500 meters of you. There's just too much population control to be done. You can't keep up on your own. So, we often work with the government to hire professional hunters to help us out. Soph is also a hunter herself. And she's the chair of our Hunters Association. Yeah, we organize hunting parties with other hunters when we have the time. But most of the time, you all like to just hang out at your bar. That's part of the fun. Our community's not too bad here. Like I was saying, the uh, ATV will... Uh, Spook everything within 500 yards. Um, now you can, if if you if you're on the metrics, you can change your settings to metric if you like. Um, so I'm I'm speaking everything in um, imperial, you know, um, yards yards and inches. Um, but most people, I believe, play um, in meters. 
I mean, there are tens of millions of people. Robbo, he turned his folk station into a wildlife sanctuary a few years ago. Yeah. We take in wounded animals. We nurse them back to health and, if possible, release them back into the wild. And you arrange guided visits with schools. That's when Robbo gets to talk the kids' ears off about the wildlife. I know. That's the best part of the work. And, most of the time, they listen. So, in hindsight here, it might have been okay to use the ATV because this is the first animal that we've heard from. And I forgot what I was saying. But you get the you get the story, which, like I say, adds a, an extra dimension to the game and what they're doing. They're into conservation, uh, rescuing animals and, and nurturing them back to health and relocating them. Um, and, of course, just uh, wildlife control from a conservation standpoint uh, so that they don't um, overgraze and um, actually destroy their own habitat as well as the habitat for other animals. Uh, so you get, uh, all of that adds an, an extra dimension to the game, and I think that is um, worth doing. And you don't get that if you don't do the missions, plus you wouldn't have gotten that 2,500 bucks. Um, where are we going <laughs> on the map? I want to know if there's another, yeah, there's well, there's a tower here nearby and that should open up this probably an outpost right here and there'll probably be an outpost here but we need to open this tower up and that'll open all of that up and i really wanted to get this outpost done but it, the mission took us this way and in hindsight it would have been okay to use the atv because it looks like at this time of day which is uh 10 50 we're getting up to 11 o'clock in the morning uh there isn't a whole lot of uh, animal activity so i think we would have been fine to use the ATV here in hindsight. Um, so the ATV you want to use at specific times of the day. Um, you, you just want to be real judicious or real careful, discriminating about when you use the ATV, what time of day and where, um, and what you're doing, you know. So I'm going to stop recording unless we come across an animal, because I got a long run here. It's not really that long. I mean, you know, that was a mile. We've been running this long. I, I stopped a couple of times. It's only been a few minutes. I mean, you can cover a mile on the map uh, in about eight minutes real time. You know, so Arthur can run like a seven or eight minute mile. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop recording and unless something happens between now and when we get to the point we're supposed to be at. Be right back at you. All right, that's that's where we're heading. Is in that direction, and we just picked up another zone for the goats. Oh, they're resting. So this is a rest zone for them, obviously, and that'll tell us that when I get out of here. So we still have 669 yards, but we found a zone here. We found a zone here. So again, running the missions opens your map up very efficiently. This is uh, this is where we're going to uh for the mission and uh we've got twelve thousand dollars oh we got a perk point we leveled up i forgot perk point uh second perk point the first one we put in muscle memory you can put another one in there which increased the ready speed for firing all rifles we want to get to zeroing but we also want breath control so um we don't need zeroing yet. We don't have a scope with a range finder on it. It's, it. Zeroing is very, very critically important. But right now, breath control is the most important thing. So we're going to take that, and that now decreases the heart rate penalty. Uh, okay, so we should be able to hold on target a little bit longer. And um, we eventually, we want to get to steady hands, decrease wobble, and zeroing we want all of these this one uh and this one not this one's not important at all i would say don't even worry about that one uh but these these three right here are the most important well these four are the most important and that's under rifles now if you go to handguns you've got a whole different set of, of perks that will help you uh, same with shotguns 
uh, this one recoil management is very, very important. We want to get to this. Uh, so, and body control. And then there's the archery uh, full draw. Uh, move and shoot. Decrease wobble while moving and aim using any weapon. We want to get to there on that. But that's down down the road. I did mention something about um, the settings. Let me show you something real quick, if I can. Uh, we'll come back out here. If you go into gameplay, this is where my settings are. If you're wondering where to set these things, uh, I'd have the missions on, etc. I'm I'm on Imperial. You can move it to metric right there, and everything will be in meters for you. I've got aim toggle on, breath toggle on, manual reload <clears throat> off. <clears throat> you want that off um, because if it's on, then you have to manually do it. Uh, if it's off, it, it, it's 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 automatic. I mean, it'll it'll load for you. So have those two off. Uh, you can go into your interface, and here you can change. All of these things, like the color of your, your reticle, reticle size, um, hide all animal clues. Uh, I have that off because uh, I want the animal clues. Uh, and down here, you can change the color of your your tracking that you do. Uh, I actually like blue ribbon. I'll go with change that to blue ribbon on that. Um, all of these things spotting uh, outline let's change that let's change the spout spotting outline i want like a yellow if i can get a yellow on that there we go and so you can make those changes here and then your video um video settings um this is what i've got i've got the field of view on 60 uh taa sharpness at 20 uh turn off your motion blur turn it off and this is this just is automatic the anti um, aliasing so um, that's where I have mindset I, 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 whoops <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help you the audio um, wireless control all of this kind of stuff okay so right back to the game um, just wanted to get that in there for new people if, if you're wondering um, and you can experiment with some of those things and, and have it the way you want. Um, so I'm just creeping up on them. Um, I haven't heard any noise from the quail. Um, they're right up straight ahead of me. You can't see the wind uh, direction. The wind direction is not in my favor. It is blowing right at the animals. So I use the scent eliminator. Um, so they can't smell me. I mean, it reduces your scent by about 75%, I think, or 80%. Um, I haven't been able to get another spot on those quail, but they're quite small. Now, these guys don't know I'm here. You can see my sound bar. I got to get my head moved. My son's got to get over here and move my head. I don't know how to do it. Get it over in the uh, left corner where it's not interfering with stuff, you know? And I, anyway, um, I'm talking quiet because I don't want to scare them. Um, you get down on your belly with the B button. You can just hold it down and, and he'll flop down on his belly or you can uh, double tap it. They were right there. Um, <laughs> nosy? You know, nosy, you know... It, it, it's just too nosy. I'm going to have nosy lay down. Yeah, I don't want you running in front of the, the gun barrel when I shoot. Um, anyway, I think we lost the quail. Uh, at least they're being very quiet. And that was the purpose of me getting on my... There they are, for crying out loud, they flew. If I can get a spot on it. That's a two. It's alert and traveling. But they do have a zone down here. They have to. That's why they're there. Uh, it just isn't showing it. Or maybe it is. The, it's showing the goats of all the zones. But this is where she wants us right now. So I'm assuming... That we will see kangaroos in this spot. And you can see where they've eating the vegetation down real bad 40 yards to go 
If you look up here, you don't get the eye. If you just lower your 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 vision, you can see that. On, First, on... try to spot a roo from a distance without spooking them. Your best bet is to climb a fire lookout tower. Another workout for your calves, I'm afraid. <laughs> He's worried about my my health. Um, we're just not here at the right time of day to spot one. But let's get. Let's go over here and do this. So, if you look at the mission log, um, that part's optional. I think he might pay us if we just open up this tower. It looks like because they're saying it's optional. So, I'll, what do we got? Well, I have to spot one without spooking it. So, if those these are going to be goats. This we're in goat territory, and we're in there their need zone time so we, we've just had nothing but uh not nothing but goats but a ton of goats all over the place let's see if we get paid for doing this i don't even see any kangaroo tracks in this area those are all goat tracks but it's because of the time of day so once we open this tower up it's going to reveal outposts there's an outpost there and an outpost here we'll probably skedaddle over to this one so we can reset the clock and take advantage of the kangaroo time. The other thing I want to do here, though, is find a crocodile. <laughs> I have never seen a crocodile in real life either. And I have never uh, gotten one in this game. Uh, I wasn't here long enough in Australia. Uh, I, was, I just came when, the, when they opened it up, like I said, last summer. It's been about eight months just to just to check it out but I had to get back to uh, I was doing a, a video series on something else and I had to get back to that and I never came back here there they are <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> all right hanging goats this looks like a male that is a male and that's a four that would be a nice trophy uh, he is well, we got to reload so using Arthur Morgan weapons makes this really a lot harder. Not a lot harder, but it makes it harder. Making it harder on myself. And, and we don't have a collar for this. When we get to the um, outpost, we'll check the collars because I'm pretty sure we, there's a collar for quail. I know there is. And uh, we can equip that. There's that four. And he's going to stay right there. He's going to use these these trees. This is why it's the best time to hunt animals is in their drink zones. Because you can get them. They won't be in the trees like this. They'll be down by the water. Now, he's, now if he holds right there, I think I can get this shot. Nope, I can't see him. There he is. Now, we will get sight spotting. Will you be able to spot them and highlight them with your um, scope? That's later on. We're not that level. My heart's too beating too fast, and he's on the run. We'll let it go. Let, let's get this tower. We're right here. But that's a level four. I think they only go, I think goats only go up to five. So that's a big one. Um, so what we can do is reset the clock, come back here to kangaroo drink time, and if we spot one from this tower, we'll complete that mission. And he paid us $2,500 for the last one. I'm that, I, That's surprising. That's a lot. You normally only get 1000 for these missions. So they pay good in Australia. <laughs> Take out your binoculars and try to spot a kangaroo from up there, for starters. They usually roam the outback, so you should be able to spot one. If you can't see any close by, you'll have to get out in the bush and track them down. I did it. I spotted one. Good. Ain't it beautiful? It's a five. They go up start, to nine. There's a couple of things you need to know about kangaroo shooting. We have strict shooting regulations in Australia. What's legal or not to shoot? What's the right caliber and ammo for each species? 
Robbo, did you submit the codex entries for our local species? Right. Just finished them last night. If you want to know more about the roo or any other animal, it's all in there. That's in your codex. Give us a call. Either way, we know you'll do your due diligence before you plan your next hunt. Now, the roo is mostly what we're known for overseas. That and deadly spiders. And fair enough, it's a very important cultural icon for us. But it's also a fascinating creature. It can be both aggro or skittish. As a marsupial, it displays unique behaviors and movement patterns that you won't find in any other species. Now, that's a, that's a level one. one. That's a small female. Don't try disturbing we... kangaroos at close range. Or they'll know how to get rid of you. Oh, we're going to deserve one at close. There you go, $2,500. You can't shoot through those windows either, by the way. Another $2,500. It's time to introduce you to one of your main tasks here. <clears throat> invasive species and pest culling. We have heaps of them in Australia. Some are native, right quite there. a few were introduced. They come in all shapes and sizes. This is I'll show you my tea one. fields. You'll see the mess pests can do, and why they're a major problem to both the ecosystem and the economy. I've tagged the location on your hunter, mate. Can't wait to see you in action. Talk later. Talk later. All right. So, we now have four, almost $15,000. So, you see what I mean about running the missions if you're new. Oh, and as agreed, to help you in your task, our hunters association is happy to offer you a varmint rifle. You can just go collect it yourself. I've left it at an outpost close to where you're going. Oh, we get a free varmint rifle. Nice. Another benefit to running the missions for new people. Again, exper experienced people, um, you know, will, will free roam right off the bat. I mean, you know, if you've got thousands of hours of experience and you're level 60, I mean, you know where to go and when and what to do but so this running the missions if you're new and you want to learn how to play the game and you want to develop your map efficiently and you want to level up quickly uh, running the missions is the way to go I can't stress that enough and you're seeing the, the results Back of Back in the 18th and 19th centuries, people thought it would be fun to bring deer over and hunt them just like they did back in Europe Soon enough, they thrived in their new environment and started competing with native animals. Yeah, within a few generations, deer populations were out of control. And that's just one of the many biodiversity challenges we have. Just in the last decade, we lost tons of threatened species. So again, there's the story. So they want us to go where? So... Way over here. So now the mission, running this mission will take us way over here. We're going to open up a whole bunch of the map here. Um, go to the area affected by pests. Kangaroo management. Harvest the kangaroo shot. So we get all of this done. You can see all the list of things they want us to do. And they'll pay you extra for that. And we still need the side mission of taking a picture of a quail. And, and harvesting one shot from 54.6 yards. And this, by doing this... You'll often hear Aussies say that if you give it enough time, any species will become feral. Usually two to three generations tops. Here, you'll find mostly feral pigs and feral goats. Both of them are some of the worst invasive pests in Australia. They destroy everything. We don't talk about them as much as rabbits or feral cats, but we should. The rule of thumb is, if it's feral, it's okay to shoot, because you'll be doing nature a service. They ruin pastures, crops, orchards, not to mention they're also a major road hazard out here in the bush. So you get all of that in the backstory, and... Um... So if, if some people are squeamish about hunting games or, or you know, uh, 
or think, oh gosh, this is mean. Um, maybe the, uh, the story dialogue will help you with that. Help you adjust your thinking a little bit, you know, about hunting. And after all, it is a video game, and um, you know, I kill, no, no animals are harmed. <laughs> all right, it's just pixels, and uh, and it's a very relaxing uh, game, very soothing to play. I'm just going over here to open up this outpost. Right, nothing happened on the way, um, probably because of the time of day. And here is our outpost in the bush. We will get 100 experience points for opening this up. We get 100 when we open up towers as well. There we go. And he leveled, she leveled up. What level is she? I forgot. She's a little 17. So that means we can put a point here. Your dog is better at picking up scent from smaller blood clues. Now at this point, she will be very fast. Your dog will be, will have all the speed for tracking that you need. So now you can jump up here. I will jump up here for level 20 because it's better than this because you don't really need this um, and I will jump I will stay here so that the dog will stay closer to me and not roam which is better than this you don't need this really and then you can do this your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks or your dog has a small chance to find a harvest without needing to follow the trail I go I go th these three on the bottom and the next three on the top. And your dog will be extremely efficient. If you stay on the bottom with everything, let's check out our, our little outpost out here. Um, your dog's too fast for me anyway. So here's our locker where we can, uh, and we've got a nice little, <laughs> this is nice. Look at this, kick back, relax, watch TV. Look at that. We got a nice little kitchen. Oh, we got a back door. Nice, nice, nice. And then the bedroom is going to be where? Uh, here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With televisions and everything. And this is where we can reset the clock, which is what I'm going to do um, on the beds. You reset it. Um, so, it <laughs> not too shabby, huh? All right, what I'm going to do at this point, because the time of day um, is hop in the ATV and pop over here and open this one up real quick. Now these question marks will either be hunting stands, which cost $2,100 to open. Uh, the smaller ones cost $1,750, I think. Or there'll be um, points of interest. You will get 100 experience points for opening those. I don't want to spend the money. We have 14, almost $15,000. And we're level 5. And we've done very, very little. I mean, if you look at the Codex, Hunter, uh, Hunter Profile. Uh, no, uh, oops, we want um, this one. Uh, we've only harvested seven animals, and that includes uh, episode one, from episode one. So we're not prioritizing um, animals, obviously, uh, hunting. Um, I'm prioritizing leveling up and making money, okay? That's what I'm prioritizing. So with just seven animals taken, two of them are gold, four silvers, one bronze, um, we've scared three, 356 animals. <laughs> Uh, we have $15,000, guys. So again, for new people, or if you're starting over at level zero, run the missions. That's all I'm going to say. So what I'm going to go in and do right now, however, is figure out how to get in the door. We're going to uh, request a little red Corvette. And um, 
I'm also going to look at uh, what I can buy now at this level, what, what I've unlocked. I should be able to get uh, some um, higher velocity um, ammo, which will drop the animals faster, get better penetration, that kind of thing. So um, in our locker, um, this is the gun that we get for free by doing the missions here. And it's a great gun for this uh, map and other maps. Uh, you can see it costs $7,000. But it will be free to us uh, by doing these missions, a 22250. Um, but I can't allow Arthur to use it because it's got a magazine and it's uh, kind of a semi-auto kind of deal. So I can't really let him use it. You can, and you can get this for free by doing the missions. Okay, as far as the ammo that we've unlocked, well, I think handguns, this is the one we're using. We're using this one, and we haven't unlocked any others, and we can't use any of these. We can't use any of the 10 mils or any of these semi-autos. Under shotguns, uh, we cannot use this, um, even though it's free. I can't use it because of the challenge I put on myself. Uh, this is a this would be great to use, but we can't. Um, so I, this is what we're using is the uh, the sheriff. Uh, it's 1891. That's his uh, shotgun for right now. And we will get a better one in Mexico. Uh, as far as ammo goes, I should be able to get some better ammo. See, the, the, this, man, if we could use that free 22 that we'll get from running the missions, this would be great, but we can't. I can't. I can't. You can't. I can't use the weapons that these... Um, that that ammunition goes with. Um, ah, this is what I wanted. We've unlocked the 243 polymers. You see the penetration is 30, and what we're using, the penetration is only 15. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 20 of these. So I'm going to spend $1,000 and uh, go up into storage. And we'll put the uh, we'll put the 243 soft points away. I have 43 of them. I could have kept using those for free, but this will get us quicker kills uh, with animals that we have to use uh, this um, 243 pistol for. So the polymer tips, we will do that. It's the equivalent of the high velocity that Arthur uses. Um, In um, Red Dead so we're good and we've got 20 of those all right man I'll start recording when uh, something cool happens here I'm just gonna jump in the ATV open up that other outpost and I might just use the ATV to go all the way up to the, the next part of that mission but I'd really rather run it um, in order to get more zones and hunting opportunities we shall see I, I'll change no actually what I'll do is I'll change the clock back to the uh, kangaroo time there was that over 600 and see if we can't complete that part of that mission and get another 2500 bucks. Yeah. All right, so this outpost is a trailer. It looks like a little 24-footer. Uh, <laughs> How about that? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this outpost. We'll claim it in a second, but look at this. Let's claim it. We'll get 100 experience points. Nice. I like it. There's 100 experience points. So on the map, I just all I did was take the ATV from here over here to open this up. So now we can fast travel between all of those, and then the first one that we that we got here, and our mission's way up yonder. Uh, but those kangaroo uh, zone right over here, I want to take advantage of 0600. So I'm going to reset the clock to 0600 and see what we can do. See if we can do some business down here with those kangaroos. And uh, we're on a go to the area affected by pests. And we've, well, these are side missions. Harvest a kangaroo shot from 27 yards. Harvest a kangaroo with a heart shot. Harvest a kangaroo shot from at least 218 yard, 0.7. 
uh, harvest a kangaroo gold or better with a handgun, which we're going to do. Harvest a kangaroo with gray fur variation. Harvest a kangaroo shot with a scope from 136.7. Harvest a kangaroo with brown fur. Harvest a kangaroo with um, leucistic, leucistic fur variation. And then we've got the quail side missions. All right. So we, we're in good shape, man. Let's check out our new digs. Let's check out our little, that might be a 22-footer. All right, huh? We've got a bed, uh, fridge. Uh, where's our um, where's our locker for uh, replenishing supplies? Do we have one on, on this? Back to 0600. And we'll head over there and see if we can't uh, get some of those kangaroos. This will cost $250. And uh, if you do it again within three hours, it'll cost $500. So once you reset the clock, you want to at least advance the game uh, three to four hours, and then it'll, it, it, it won't go up in price. But we can just do this. And now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, here we go. So we can resupply ourselves here. Yes, yes, we can resupply ourselves here. There, it would be so much easier if I could use some of these uh, modern weapons, <laughs> but we can't. Oh my gosh, we got a nine legendary kangaroo. He's hopping away from us. I'll be tracking it. Can you imagine getting a legendary animal by level five with Arthur's equipment? This could be exciting. I got to I got to stay on it. All right, I got him spotted. Man, he keeps he's just going away from me. We've got wild boars making noise at us. Let's see where he's going. He's headed straight for this tower in this little valley right here. He's not headed for the water. What? Oh, that noise was him making a warning call. It sounded like a human voice almost. Didn't it? That sounded like a human voice. <gasps> like that, like. <gasps> <gasps> Off almost. A legendary kangaroo. There's this track over that way. The sound came. From over there. on the other side. That's him, nine legendary. Oh, we need him to turn. <clears throat> I could make that shot. Soft feet, I'm too damn noisy. Those things can cover ground so fast. Oh man. So I don't wanna sp I don't wanna spook it. But I don't wanna lose it either. If I get too far behind it, I don't know how far ahead of me he is. Next time we see him, we're not spotting him with the binoculars. I'm going to spot him with the scope and hopefully get a shot in. If I'd have had the gun up, we could have shot him right there. But 
because I'm trying to get to 36,000 so I can buy the 7 mil. Once we get to 7 millimeter, which was developed by Mauser in the 1890s, so Arthur can use it, but he can only use the um, break action single shot. I can't use the ones with the magazines or the semi-auto 7 mils. Uh, but once we get that 7 mil, and life is going to get a lot easier for him here in Australia and every other map. That 7 mil is the most versatile rifle in the game, and it will get you integrity on everything from level 4 or class 4 to class 9. And I think I just lost this thing's track. critical position. The dog is telling me that there's something very, very close to us. Nosey is... Oh, there's the track. <clears throat> That's him. That's a noise they make, huh? Sounds like a human. Come on, show yourself. He's real close. Uh, Nosey is whimpering. You hear nosy? You probably can't. Nosy's going. <laughs> Pop up, you sucker. Pop up. Give me a chance. I got a, I've got two bars of noise going on there. You see the speaker underneath the bullet? That's too much. The only alternative would be to get on my belly and crawl. I could be more silent that way. I just don't know. I won't have a very good vision. He went that way. moving fast because I'm just wanting to get his eyeballs on him. Even if I do get him to run, I just want to know that I'm still on him and not on something else. Whoa, what is that? That looks like, is that a white tail or a black tail? A sambar. Level four. I don't know what a sandbar is, but it's pretty. If I shoot at that sandbar, we will lose. This is look how far I've tracked this thing. Look how far I have tracked this thing. I'm tempted to take the sandbar. I don't know what that is. It looks I mean, it's a deer, obviously, but I've never heard of a sandbar. Um, there it is right there, too. Level four. I don't know how high a sandbar goes up, but we've got his zone, and I have lost my kangaroo, my legendary kangaroo. I've lost the track on it. Let's go back to the last place I had a track on him. Probably ought to take that sandbar. Okay, this is the last place I had a track on the kangaroo. Check out this outpost. I like how they're all different. Everyone is a little different, you know. You got a pizza box? Is that a pizza box? You guys, use the trash cans. I like how they're all a little different. That, that is, Australia is just an amazing map. This is, I am loving this. So, we get 100 XP for that. Can we use either one, I wonder? Well, since Nosey's over here by the brown one, a gladiator, 5500 XT. Cool. 
All right, what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to reset the clock and uh, try to get back on the trail of that uh, legendary Rue. this. That looked like a red deer. Are there red deer in Australia? <whistles> this map is amazing. If that's red deer. Um, where'd I hit that thing at? Right here. It should be right here. Yeah. Oh, there. We got it. Look at the, a sandbar. I've never, I've never heard of them. It's gold. Well, this goes in the trophy case. Twelve hundred dollars, boy, they pay good. Diamond is one sixty six. This one is a one thirty nine. Dark brown. Sambar, class six. So I want to yes, and I'm yes, yes, I'm my way over there. I picked up a red deer drink zone. There are red deer in Australia. I thought they were um, European, but she talked about them bringing them over, didn't she? They were brought over. And they become a problem for the vegetation. That's what she was saying earlier, right? That's what she was saying. And I forgot. <laughs> I forgot she was talking about them, man. There's a hog deer. It's a class three animal. Never heard of a hog deer. We're opening this stand up. This this seems like it will pay for itself. Uh, this is a small one. So it's only seventeen hundred. But while we are in here, it'll definitely pay for itself. Uh, we are invisible. Oh wow! Access D. monster right there. Wow, that's a level three. That's a two. I want that level three axis deer. Oh my goodness, but it's it's quartering away from us. They are a class three animal, so we have to use the pistol. When I that's the butt of the one I want. Uh, there is act there are Access deer collars, but they cost six thousand bucks. If I had the collar, I would give a call and get that thing to turn and face me. There's the there's the prize right here, or or the biggest one in this herd. Right there. That one. Hmm. Wow. Um. This one's not bad either. It's a two. That's a one. This is the easiest one right here because it's broadside. Well, this one's the easiest one. But this one's bigger. Oh, this is the one I want. I wonder if I can get them to turn. I'm going to try the trick with the 22. I can just like get them to turn, you know, get their attention a little bit. Ah, my heart, my 
my heart gave out and I couldn't hold. Where is he? He's right there. He wants to keep his back to us. But he did. It is a little better. I might be able to squeeze that into the lung. If I was level 60, I definitely could. And if we were using modern weapons, we could have taken out a couple more of them. I don't know how, how that hit. It hit well. Bingo. We got hunting pressure. And he went right down. Let's see. All right, I got a hog deer. I wasn't recording. It was quick because it was on the run. I, I had to aim and fire. And uh, it was on the trot. And I, I didn't have time to hit the record button, but let's see what a hog deer looks like. Interesting. It's a silver male that was from 219 yards. And I let it way up by its neck because it was on the trot, it was on the move. So from this side right here. So I was actually aiming up by its neck and you can see where it hit. We got a vital organ. It is a 73, gold would be 83. So our first hog deer. Cool. All right, I'm gonna hang out here for the red deer because it is 10 o'clock and they're they drink until 10 well it's 10 30 so we've lost the zone time on the red deer i might just go back here and reset the clock and i'm still trying to track this was the tracking on that legendary um the tracks are gone now but i started tracking it down here the legendary kangaroo i still want to get that All right, I'll be back at you when something happens. Sorry, I missed the I missed recording the shot on that. Well, this is really cool. This is fallow deer come in right after the red deer, so the red deer drink time ends at ten in the morning. Oh, that's a beauty. And the axis deer come in right behind them. As you can see, our fallow deer, fallow deer 10 to 1300, 10 to 1300, red deer 6 to 10. This is the one we want right here. That's the biggest of what's out there. And that's 200 yards. That is in the range of the muzzle loader. gave out <laughs> shot up to the sky <laughs> I, you just can't hold man it was right there and then just as I was getting ready to squeeze it whomp, he just he just couldn't hold and right up and shot the sky okay they came back let's try that again Should have dropped him. It did, right in his tracks. Right there. Beautiful. That was the biggest one in the herd. Now, the way hunting pressure works for new people, I'll show you as soon as he's done reloading this thing. If you, well, I can show you now. When you shoot in the stand, you see how it's just a like a gray splotch and not a, a, a reddish purple splotch? You get less hunting pressure from shooting from a stand. If you're shooting on foot, you can only take three animals out of a zone. If you take more than three on foot, the zone will disappear. Now, they do come back. They will reestablish it. But from a stand, you can take 15 animals from a zone without depleting it. 
So there's our trophy right there. And that's where we first spotted him, and I missed. I shot up at the sky. I'm going to sit here because we're really early in the zone. They're, they used this lake until 1300. So I'm just going to sit tight, and I'll record if they come on back and we get another big one. Oh, also, the more hunting pressure you have, the more skittish uh, the animals are. The more, the harder it is to hunt in an area. So you can get this hunting pressure to disappear from here by hunting in other areas. Like down here, these were all a lot more red than they are, more purple than they are. But since we've been doing business up here, over here where we started, this, these are starting to disappear. And they will, have, they will disappear. Like if we were to go over here and shoot a bunch of animals over here, we would get the hunting pressure to disappear. That's for new people. Okay. Okay, we did level up. And so the skill point that I'm going to put in here is going to be right here on this um, magnifying glass there on the top. We put one in there and we got the, the first thing. Now level two of this reveals information about approximate animal group size. When investigating need zone tracks and animals' approximate health when investigating blood trails. And what we're trying to get to is soft feet. Um, so that's why I am doing that. We still need to get another. Uh, you need to have a total of five points spent before you can open up soft feet. And we've spent two here and we spent one there. Uh, I'm only happy when it rains, decreases your visibility and foggy weather, all that. That's not that important. This one is real important. Uh, improvised blind is real important because bushes um, uh, count as, um, as a, it decreases your visibility. They, it almost acts like you're hunting in a, in a tree stand. But, okay, just wanted to show you that. And I don't think these guys are going to come back. I could be wrong. Um, I stepped outside of the stand because I was going to go collect that heart. I was going to harvest that one right there because I'm thinking with the hunting pressure that we have here, they might not come back. Anywho, all right, I'll be back at you when something happens. Look at this axis, dear. Axis, dear. It's gold. This one goes into Trophy Lodge. It's 200 rating, 249 is diamond. Hundred and eighty nine yards with the fifty caliber um, muzzle loader. Look at the penetration that gets. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it in the lodge. We'll we'll get better ones for the lodge. But still that's a gold, eleven hundred dollars. Harvest a fallow deer and earn gold. That means we'll get extra money. Or no. We opened up the 223, um, but I can't use it with my challenge I'm putting on myself. There's a baby hog deer. We'll let it be. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, all right. I'll be back at you when something else happens. I think what I'm going to do here is get off of this lake, though. Because uh, we've got quite a bit of hunting pressure, and um, get over here, get over here and reset the clock, and try to pick up on that legendary kangaroo. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll just fast travel back here. I'll reset the clock and try to get back on the trail of that uh, legendary kangaroo. I mean, we spotted it. He was level five. Now we're level six. It would have been great to have a diamond at level five. That would just be amazing all right we'll, we'll we'll be back at you when uh, something happens this is an eight mythical i'm trying i'm still trying to find a, the nine legendary but we picked up an eight mythical and we got a drink zone so i went back to where i first to the area where i first spotted and started tracking 
that legendary who took us all the way up through here. And I've been just scouting the area. It is now after midnight, but now we know when they drink. They drink from midnight until 3 in the morning. And right here, we have an 8 mythical. So I'm going to cross the river. How you doing, nosy? I'm going to cross the river. Now, it's 268 yards away, so it can't hear me. They can hear you at about 250. We're at 260. See if we can get around here and get a better look at it from this angle. Yeah. That's a 7, a 6. Oh, wow. There's the 8 mythical. I'm hoping that the uh, 9 legendary comes in here. Wow. We got some big ones. The 8 mythical. Um, Where is he? There he is. His back is to us. But if he stays standing up like that and we hit him right between the shoulder blades... We should be able to get the full credit on that. It's still a little far away. Let's get up closer and swing around. Now, the disadvantage that I put myself in by doing this um, Arthur Morgan loadout is I cannot use night vision. I'm not, I, we would have to hit him high. That's where the lungs are. You can't get a headshot on these things. But without night vision, without sight spotting, the sight spotting would highlight him. We'll have it later. But night vision is out of the question for Arthur. And I'm still wondering if that nine legendary drinks here because this is right near where we first spotted it. We're at 198. We're in perf perfect range for the muzzle loader. The problem is being able to see it. And like I say, we don't have the advantage of night vision. That's a three, a six, where's my, there's my eight. Now if I could get the rifle up fast enough while that is still highlighted, we'd be okay. Let's see how fast I can get it up. I couldn't tell because it got dark. As soon as he reloads, we got it. There's the hunting pressure. It's a good shot. So it went straight down. Oh, here's where I am, by the way, um, in case you're wondering. And you see, because we did that, the hunting pressure is coming off over here and over there a little bit. But... And this is right over here is where we first spotted the nine legendary. So I think what I'll do. So he probably drinks between this lake or this lake. He might even be at this lake. I'm going to head over this way. And check this lake out since I pretty much spooked everything around here. Um, and we can come back here because we can just fast travel here and come on back before three o'clock in the morning. Um, and see if and see what comes back over here. All right, that's the plan, Sam. Whoa, check out this outpost. Check this one out. Huh? This map is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'll 
Australians. What? What are these? Are they figs or something like that? Man, look at this. Nice. Oh, <laughs> a two-door refrigerator. Oh, Australia is something else. Indoor plumbing. Nice. Very nice. Uh, this is uh, here. Um, I'm, I'm going to give this a rest down here. I could not find that nine legendary. I'm not giving up. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do what the game wants us to do and get this mission. So I'm just headed over there on the ATV. It's 3.49 in the morning, so... Uh, not much chance of, um, we're not going to miss a lot of hunting opportunities at this hour. Um, typically, on most maps anyway. Um, come on, nosy. So, uh, I'm using the ATV to go up there. And we will, don't worry, I am not giving up on that legendary uh, kangaroo. Look at that. That's a great little outpost. That is fantastic. Man. If I knew this map was this amazing last summer, I would have uh, spent a lot more time here than I did. I just, all I did was open it up and get started on it. Anyway, I'll, I'll start recording when we get something good happen. Look at this. I think I'll come over here and open this up. Wow. Amazing. There's our outpost. Uh, just ran over here from the lookout tower. It's a trailer. Fallow deer in the area. So that's just from the tower um, to here. Let's bring, let's call the ATV over here. Hey man, who was here last? Looks like 
Micah was here. I shall continue on our way to this mission and opening up this map. Really want to get over here because I know there'll be crocodiliacs over there. All right, man. I'll be back when something happens. Check this out. It's a point of interest. Oh, we've got a we got an animal. What's that deer doing in there? See. Might have hit it in the neck. If I got it in the neck, we're good. And I did not. <laughs> All right, let's check out this point of interest. Tea fields. Part of the heritage left by the British culture is tea drinking and tea consumption is part of everyday life in Australia. Although the tea production is comfortably small, tea fields can still be found in Australia. That deer was in here. That deer was in here. All right, let's open up this outpost and then we'll get on with the mission. Mission is only 350 yards away. Traveled all night. Well, it's been part of the night trying to find that nine legendary. Uh, Kangaroo, we did get the eight mythical, and we did kick up another eight mythical. Now that eight myth, look at this one. I just love this. They're all different. Look at this. Look at this. Open the door. Pretty cool, man. All right, we're just going to head on down here and get the mission. My dog uh, just leveled up. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. Before we get to the mission, I want to check out this lake, though. What level are you, nosy? Oh, 25. So this one, again, I'm staying on the top row. Your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you, which I prefer over your dog has a higher chance to find fresh droppings because we can do that ourselves. And if you select that one, he's always telling you about fresh poop. You know, I'm like, oh, we got a cliff and we got animals. A Javan Rusa. What's a Javan Rusa? Um, Australian friends, what is a Java Rusa? Can I make it down? I cannot. I will fall to my death. So let's see what they want us to do over here. Tea fields. Lots of tea. Where are we? So 
that's where we are. I'm going to hunt this uh, trailhead right here with the lake and then this river flowing out of that lake. We'll come back on down and see if we can't get that nine legendary uh, kangaroo. We'll try. 80 yards. So apparently this is, go to the area affected by pests. Javon Rusa, I don't even know what that is. You made it to the tea fields? Nice one. As you can see, the damage can be pretty bad when certain species become overabundant. That's why pest control is a responsibility everybody shares in Australia, even non-hunters. But for that, you'll need your varmint rifle. It's waiting for you. So we're going to get a free varmint rifle. But I don't know if it's I can... It's perfect caliber to hunt small to medium animals. The only thing we'll ask is that you take a small target practice test. We want to test practice. our hired hunter's skills and competence. Even pests need to be shot ethically. <laughs> so it's pick up the varmint rifle, which is back at the, uh, back at the, um, what you call it, um, outpost. We can, we can fast travel there. So they're going to give us a varmint rifle, but I don't think I can use it for this child. Whoa, what are these? Are these in Australia? What are these? I don't know what those are. All right, so they're going to give you a free rifle, and this is uh, a really good rifle, actually, for small and medium game. Um... It's just that I won't be able to use it. Inspect. Interact. Isn't it a beaut? You'll see, it also does the job well. Now, how about a bit of practice? Let's start off nice and easy. Say that soft drink can? Shoot it and start getting a feel for your new weapon. Um, the thing is... I've, I've never um, done this in the game. See, I just have this varmint rifle, which he can use because it's similar to what he has in Red Dead. I, I guess, did I, did I get that in my inventory? What happened? No. Um, they didn't give it to me at all. Um, it must be in the um, locker. Should be under storage in the locker. There it is. Not bad. So, what do you reckon? To me, it's practical, reliable, and lightweight. It may not be the most common caliber for pest hunting, not even in Australia, but it's my personal favorite. Sometimes it's nice to just focus on yourself, your posture, your breathing, your aim. So, if you're game, you're welcome to keep honing your skills. The best hunters are the humble ones, if you ask me. Shooting challenges. Now that that's settled, Feel free to do what you do best. Here's a bunch of bounty assignments for you, but no rush. We'll leave it up to you how you want to plan your hunts. Thanks for your help, mate. We get $2,500 plus a free rifle that I don't think I can use with Arthur. I'll have to think this over, you know, because it does have a mag. Um, North of the river, it's mostly my property. I can't wait to show you the sanctuary. Wait, Robert, I've got an idea. 
How about we take our mate on a little detour? We could introduce you to a fun tidbit of Aussie culture. A folk song called Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. Ah, yeah. Good idea. Perfect. What have you got in mind, Soph? A billabong. Right. I know which one. Check out that location I've marked. If you're a bit of a history nerd like me, it'll be worth your time. Okay. So we got 2500 bucks for doing that. And now, uh, buy a billabong. Reach the first waypoint. We have kangaroo management. These are side missions. Travel to the shooting challenges. <laughs> Sorry. We should have led with that. That's what we call a kind of U-shaped lake or waterhole. Right. We have Aussie terms and phrases for everything, as you've noticed. But believe me, we're already toning it down for you. You're toning it down? Don't tone it down. You don't have to tone it down for me. So, so this... What's your plan, Soph? Oh, please tell me you're not going to sing. Sing? Oh, oh, no way. But I'll gladly talk about the song and what it means. Yeah, I feel better. I wouldn't want to relive another 2012 karaoke debacle. Is she gonna talk? Yeah, this is all new to me, guys. I haven't I haven't done this much on this map. I just opened it up barely when it came out. You know, that's all I did. So uh, this is cool. So now I got to decide what I want to do. I mean, we can go ahead and do this. We'll pick up another twenty five hundred bucks. Apparently, Australians pay twenty five hundred bucks for their missions. Everybody else only pays a thousand. <laughs> so yay, Australia. Um, to me, you know what? That's not a bad idea because it's going to take us down into here. Bloody song, Soph was always singing in the back of her mum's car. Yeah, sorry, it drove you nuts. Are they gonna stop? I used to have this illustrated children's book based on that song when I was a kid. Yeah, you went through a phase when you were slightly obsessed with a song. Let's put it that way. All right. Are they done? I don't want to want you guys to miss any of it. All right. Uh, let me think about what I want to do, and I'll be right back at you. There he is. Thirty-eight yards. The wind, you can see the wind is blowing right at him. If we can get to 220, I might take a shot. Because that is the range, the effective range of the muzzle loader. But the thing is, I don't know where which one is him. Three, where you go? Is that him? Eight. There's an eight mythical in there as well. There he is. And he's coming our way. Man, this would be so great. But you can see the wind. The wind is blowing right at them. There he is. He's coming our way. Now he's angling away from us. If I'm getting to stop and stand up, we can maybe have a shot. Ah, right behind the bush. Well, he isn't a legendary for nothing. But now we know where their zone is, where they rest. There's the eight mythical. Where is he? Got three. There's a beautiful fallow deer as well. Is that him back there? That's him. No, that's the eight mythical. Did he go in the front? No, these are small. I got lost him. He's right there. That is a shot we can take. <clears throat> Keeping my fingers crossed. It 
looks like we got him. Looks like we did it. It's a muzzle loader, no less. But I think we, I think, I think, seemed like I, I was maybe a little bit high. You know, I think I might have been a, just a tad high. Oh, please. I hope I didn't mess the shot up. Because if you mess the shot up, it won't be a legendary. It'll downgrade it. But he went straight down. That is a vital organ hit. You can tell by the big blood splotch. Vital organ. Here it is. Don't be a troll. Please don't be a troll. Look at this. Gold. He's a troll. So he got the vital organ hit. I mean, I did everything right. It's just that his trophy rating is 476. And he needed to be 492. So although it is a nine legendary. <clears throat> and I made a good shot on him. He's a troll. Oh. That's a shame. That's so disappointing. All right. You know, I tracked that thing hard and long. Um, I really did. <laughs> I did, man. We'll save the hard. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's take this six. That will spook the eight mythical. And maybe have him relocate. not going down there it went down now that should have spooked the eight there he goes back that way but since they can't smell me the winds blowing away I'm gonna just sit here and wait for them to come back and hope that that eight we know what we could do we could relocate ourselves to over there. Let's do that. I'll relocate myself to over there. and Hopefully we can have a shot. I don't know if I can get across here. Have a shot across to that zone that the 8 Mythical was liking. Well, if I can get all the way across here, this would be just about perfect, I think. Yeah, that'll give us a shot into that side of that hill. Right there. So we'll just sit here. The wind is still good. Stay down, nosy. So that if he comes back into this spot, we'll be good. I'm just going to sit tight. I'll start recording if something happens. Herd came back, but the big boy didn't. I'm going to guess that he moves over to here. So I'm going to take this five. Dropped it right there, right in its tracks. Heart shot, I think. That should have penetrated to the heart. Come on, nosy. We'll go over here and pick up the first one. The herd's going to run. And I think they'll go over to that other lake over here. And hopefully we'll pick up that eight mythical over there. This takes so long. God, I'll be so happy when we don't have to uh, use the muzzle loader. So that first one we hit dropped right back here, I believe. Let's have Nosy find it. Shouldn't be far. Should be right around here. Twenty 
25% health. That's it straight ahead. Let's see where we hit this and if we got vital. Zero percent. I don't know. But there it is. Arthur's first red deer and we spined it. We were too high. A level six bronze. It would have been silver. No vital organ hit. So one uh seventy four point nine needs to be one eighty two for gold. One hundred and forty seven point eight yards with a fifty cal. Beautiful, beautiful deer, though. And $1,200. Let's go pick this other one up, and then I'm going to predict that they're going to run over to that other lake right straight ahead of me over there. We'll go pick this one up. Okay, this one we did get a vital. You can tell by the blood. And it is a silver. We get $1,400 on it, though. Heart shot. 183 yards, 50 cal. So 143 silver on its way to gold. It needs to be 182 for gold. So it's, a, it's, it's still a beautiful, beautiful animal. All right, I'm going to head over here. want to make sure that I have all these zones that's where the herd ran that way we unlocked the 270 polymer tip bullets anyway I'm gonna go check over here I just have a feeling that that's where the eight mythical went there he is that doe walked right in front of the shot. Did you see that? She's protecting her man. Okay, I moved around a little bit to the side. That hind's head, the hind is the female um, red deer. That hind put herself right into harm's way for her man. I can't get it to come down, come down. I can't. My heart's beating too fast. All right. We'll let the hearts calm down. We'll get this shot off. Okay, let's try again. Eight mythical. Did I hit the hill? What happened? He's acting like he didn't even know I shot at him. How far away is that? Oh, it's 315 yards. I've got the marker way over there. Oh, for Pete's sake. That hill interfered with my mark. There's a lesson for you. So it hit way short. He's still reloading. Let's see if, apparently, though, that didn't spook him. Yeah, he's still there. But he's at 300 yards. Okay, we need to get a lot closer. We need to be within 220 with this rifle. Now, he can't hear me this far away. That's why they did not spook. They didn't hear the rifle shot. And the bullet landed really short. All right. There he is. Proud as can be, but we're still out of range of the rifle. We need to get up to 220. Now they can hear me at 250, so I need to slow down. The wind, as you can see, is not a factor, blowing right to left. They can't smell me. So it's just a matter of can I get the shot in there. We're just a tad out of range. I mean, you can hit it from 240, but I would have to aim just a tiny bit high. 
and it's really hard to hold on target at this level but we're going to give this a shot I think lay down nosy lay down yeah, girl. Hit him. Uh-oh, I don't think I got vital. Maybe he's going down. He's going down. Ah. All right, let's go pick him up. Dang, I think I was too low. And this is how you mess up an eight ooh, mythical. Ooh, Look ooh, at how ooh. beautiful that is. That's a that's a gold, solid gold. But because I didn't get vital, it's going to downgrade him to a silver. But look at this. Are you seeing this? Look. Yeah, it's going to be a silver. But look at him. Yeah, 243 yards, it's just too far for that um, muzzle loader. Look at that. Hit him in the leg. But the second shot hit him in the other leg. Yeah, I didn't record the second shot. It was as I was tracking him. And I tried to get another shot at him. And I did. And I was trying to squeak it into the lung and just missed. Got him in the other front leg. We do get $1,000 for it. It downgrades him to silver. I mean, that's that's a shame. That is a shame. Because look at him. I do want to save this. It'll cost $10,000 to, harvest, to um, taxidermy it. But I do want to save this. Oh, check out this outpost. This is incredible. Look at this. Never seen one like this on any of the other maps. This is great. And so much like Arthur uh, when he was in Guarma. The uh, vegetation is. Look at this. this outpost <laughs> never seen anything like it in uh, Hunter Call of the Wild uh, look at this got a nice little deck over here look at that nice little wet bar table nice let's see what it looks like inside Doesn't this look like Guarma? Doesn't it? Like Guarma? Just like it. Interesting. Arthur's in Australia. Look at this. Look at our digs here, man. Nice digs. Look. Ha, ha, ha. Here's where we can resupply ourselves. Check it out. Big screen TV. Nice. Oh, on the map, we're here. I'm just uh, going to complete this mission. I want to come on down here and maybe get a crocodile. We'll see how we do. We have $39,000. We can buy the 7 mil now. Also, a sandbar. This is so nice. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the 7 mil. I had our first croc. Oh, where'd he go? I went to hit the record button and I lost sight of him. Our first croc. First croc I've ever seen. I've never got one in the game. Oh, he was right there. 
And I went to hit the record button, took my eyes off of him, and I lost him. Is he in the water, like, coming after us or something? Get the um Whoa! Well hi. He took a big bite out of me. Holy crap. So level seven, we get Almost, we get 1,459 bucks. <laughs> With 10-gauge uh, brass slugs from 1.9 yards. 1,500 bucks. He weighs 1,500 pounds. And that's a level seven. His um, trophy rating is 694. 760 makes gold. So that's not even like a really big one. And we made 1450 bucks. My first crock. Arthur's a little wounded. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. I'm excited now. That sucker, I spotted him on the other side. Somehow he came around behind me. And you saw what he did. He whacked me. He took a bite out of me. Took a bite out of Arthur. So Arthur's a little bit wounded. But at least he didn't one-shot me, you know. Like a lion. If you get attacked by a, a lion in, in Africa, man, they'll one-shot you. You're done. One and done. Another one. Level five. Still alive. I love the sound of this rifle. One ninety seven, that's why I was a little low again. We need as soon as we can get range finders and we can get zeroing, we can zero in our scopes. Or Arthur can zero in his scope, we'll be able to make those shots a lot better. I'm just excited and just playing fast. That's it, it's floating to us. There's another one. That's a female. Did we just kill her boyfriend and she's going to come after us now? Yeah, there she is. She's fleeing. That's just a level one. But I'll bet she pays really well, too. Shoddy. I hit her in the water. I think she I think I dropped her. But here's the five. Silver and we got vital twelve hundred dollars. But he's a little one, I guess. Yep, there's a female that we shot underwater. It was underwater when we hit her. Wow. Another vital organ hit. $900. She's a little one. Only 350 pounds. She's just a baby. This is exciting. 
we're up to 7,800 bucks and just not even, you know, maybe 15 minutes ago, I had 311. I just spent 48,000 on the 7 mil and the um, Hyperion scope. Woo. I, I'm Australia, people, Australia. Would be a tough map to start on, you know, because you won't have, unless you have the DLCs and so you can, you can get high-powered rifles. But it certainly, you could certainly start on another map and as soon as you unlock or have the money, and actually you're fine. You could go with this 10 gauge shotgun with shells and get integrity. Uh, what is that? A Bantang? Uh, what is that? A Bantang. T-E-N-G. Bantang? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Bantang? Ban Bantang? What is a Bantang? Bantang. I, I don't know how to say it. I have to see it again. B-A-N-T-E-N-G. Ban. Bantang. Bantang? Anyway, it gave a warning call and I don't see it. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> uh, Bantang. There's our outpost. We've got animals everywhere. Animals everywhere. This is awesome. It is noon. Noon uh, on the map was just all down this river. Oh, look at the look at this. Look at the outpost. I love how all of the outposts are different. We haven't had a single, you know, repeat. Every single outpost is different. Look at this. I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you what, Australia just became my new favorite map. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wash your head drier, no less. Uh, we probably need to have a way to close this with all these crocodiliacs around. I mean, a crocodile could just walk right into your laundry room there, your, your uh, utility room. And there's no way to shut that. There's crocodiles everywhere. And you're going to leave this open like this? Look at this. Look at this outpost. Your kitchen is downstairs with no door on this thing and crocodiles all over the place. Look at this. Yeah, Australia is my new favorite map. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know when I, when the saltwater crocs drink. We're going to find out. Look at this, you guys. Get this game and come to Australia or look. <laughs> I'll be right back at you, man.
you can see the wind. The wind is blowing in the direction I'm running. So they can smell me. They can pick up my scent. So the best way, if the wind's going to stay like that, the best way is to start down here and work your way up so that the wind is in your face. Right now it's at my back and it's blowing towards the direction I'm going. That's a crocodile right there. I'll bet you dollars to donuts. A little one. I'm I'm looking for a huge one. There's a six. We've already had gotten a seven. All right, all right, all right. Nosy is is upset. We killed it. There it is. It'll float to us. I hope. Yeah, it'll float in. It's a little one. It's a level seven female. I got a vital organ hit, but trophy rating is so low. We hit the lung. Oh, I never spent my uh, skill point. So, let's do that. Trying to get soft feet. I need five points in there. We currently have three, four. So, or we can go to Ambusher and get to site spotting. Let's do that. So let's put a point here. This will uh, reveal additional information about how aware the animal is of nearby threats. But we need five points to unlock sight spotting. And I, I think that's what we should be working towards next on the skill points. And I'm hunting in the wrong direction. I should be coming up from down here so we need to open up an outpost down here in order to do that this will pay 2500 bucks that's the mission it's that way a mile mile and a half almost wow this is too much fun man too much fun there's a six and this is a one And a level seven red fox. I would love to get that. If I crouch down, I can only see its head. That's the one. That's the six. Shot it just below the water line. That's the one. I got them both. They're both down. We picked up a drink zone for the red fox. 1700 to 2000. So 5 o'clock at night. until eight at night. I 
thought I got both of those. I don't see one out there um, to harvest. I would, could have sworn we got two. And knows he's growling. Seven female, another nine hundred dollars. I guess maybe we did not get the other one. Let's see if Nosy can um, pick up a track. I know I hit both of them. Nope, track not found. So I think the one I shot at in the water. The bullet didn't make it. Oh, a bandit. A five. A level five. Oh, we need this shot. I tried to go for a heart shot. And it looks like I made it. No, I didn't. It's still moving. I thought that was a heart shot and it dropped right in its tracks. It's still on the run. It drops right in front of this level seven croc. A seven and a five. Another seven. So this seven is facing us. Let's see if we can squeeze one in there. Diamond! We got a diamond! A diamond! Bantang! I was going for the heart. I was a little bit high, but we got lung. Ah! Oh. So a diamond is 137. This is a 139.72. It's going to cost 7,000 to uh, taxidermy it. Do I have 7,000? I do. We're going to taxidermy this. And we're going to go put it in the lodge. A diamond. Hundred and forty nine yards, seven millimeter mag, seven millimeter. Wow. We'll collect thirteen hundred and fifty eight dollars. Um, harvest a male bantang weighing whatever that said above or above, and we did that. Ha. 
Looks like we did not get the Crocs. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Oh, my goodness. It's a whole bunch of them. That was low. Was probably high my heart rate my heart is pounding the the, the the Arthur's heart is pounding so I can't hold I need him to stand still and calm down his heart a little bit well we did drop a couple or we dropped one anyway I'm wondering about those crocs because I could have sworn we got a couple of good shots on them we'll put nosy out See if Nosy can uh, pick up a blood trail on the Crocs, but apparently not. Yeah, here's yeah I wounded one here, but I don't know if it dropped. Let's go up and look at this band tank. I want to get um get his trophy lodge started that's the first one i taxidermied uh, that dropped us down to five fifty three hundred dollars oh here it is right here here's a vital organ hit we'll get nosy on it the seven mil will get you uh the obviously is getting us the um integrity but it's not dropping them as fast as like the 300 Win Mag would. Or the 338. This is a silver female orange. $1,200. Nice. Let's have uh, nosy. Let's let's have nosy um, track another one. I think I wounded a couple. I don't know if they dropped. Um, I can look at the hunting pressure. It did not. We only have hunting pressure for two animals, so the other one did not drop. So we'll we'll call we'll call nosy off, and we will go to trophy lodges. Ah. We need to buy one for, um, or find an empty one for Arthur. Let's see if there's anything in this one. I bought a couple. I just don't know if I have already put stuff in them. I want to find one with nothing in it. And this will be exclusively Arthur's. Yeah, this one is, yeah, I already bought one, this one. So this is going to be exclusively um, Arthur's. And we will put his first diamond right here in the front. What is this? Oh, these are uh, from other trophy lodges. This one goes right here. Let's um, that's a pose we want right there. Arthur's first diamond. And this will be his lodge. I might change the pose, but that works. And he is level 12. Level 12, he gets it. And I forgot what lodge I put that in. <laughs> uh, I think it was four. Yeah, it was this. Uh, was it four? It was this one right here. Yeah. So, uh, Saseka Safari number four. I, is there a way that I can name that? Did 
There you go. His first diamond, and we'll fill this place up. Um, say we can, we can, we can put. Um, we've got plaques for the wall, for the walls, and all these other things. And I might even move that one, but for right now, that's where it's going to be. And I'll end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.